Over the summer, raging rainstorms caused flooding all over the East Coast. Western Massachusetts was hit hard. Due to the storms, areas such as the Oxbow and other parts of Northampton were completely flooded for days. Areas near the Connecticut and Mill River were especially affected. Many local farms suffered extreme damage due to the flood, facing partial or full crop loss. We spoke to farmers as well as others to learn more about the impact of the floods and what can be done to support them going forward. We lost about uh, 50, uh, 45 acres or so of all of our main season crops. So we were pretty, it was pretty catastrophic for us. We lost all of our potatoes and sweet corn and peppers and um, eggplant, all of our tomatoes. So farm land that we farm is flood land. It normally floods in uh, or the early part of the season. And then it floods again, um, you know, long after we have any crops in there, but it, you know, the last time it flooded this time of year was about 50 years ago. And we are still going to continue farming that land. I mean, it's part of why that land is so fertile and productive is because it's in the floodplain. And so I think that we're going to try to hedge our bets a little bit better um, and not put so, you know, plant so heavily down there. And then, you know, farming is all about adapting. And so I think that that's something that we're always trying to figure out. The community has been great. I mean, we are a community supported agriculture farm. So this is kind of what the model of CSA is designed for. We did a GoFundMe, which raised quite a bit of money. It covered, a, you know, a good portion of what we lost. And, you know, in terms of like the... Um, support just like verbally. I mean, it's been, people have been very kind and encouraging, which has been uh, really helpful as we've tried to figure out how to go forward. The process for assessing damage that was caused by the floods was we proactively went out to both Western Mass and Central Mass to visit farms through, at, so at the Department of Agricultural Resources, we have a produce safety team and they work closely with many of the farms in the valley and across the state. And so they started after July 10th when the flood hit, meeting with farms, taking in phone calls about impacts. Over 100 farms were impacted by the floods, totaling over 15 million in economic losses of crop loss. And there were over 40 different types of crops that were impacted. We realized that providing monetary support would be the best way to support the farming community. And one of the initiatives we actually launched today at the department is a natural disaster ag fund. And the fund was initially funded at $20 million. And that will help to cover not only the flood event, but the February 4th freeze and the May 18th frost events that impacted quite a few farms as well. Within a week of the flood events, we brought together community organizations and partners from Central and Western Mass, and they were able to launch the Mass Farm Resiliency Fund, which has currently raised over $3 million. With climate change becoming more frequent and more extreme across the state, at the department, we've recognized the need to help farmers be more resilient. And one of the ways in which we're doing that is we're establishing an internal climate change task force to be able to look at our current grant programs and our policies and adapt those so that they're responsive when these type of weather events happen. If you would like to help support affected farms, visit the link below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.